I'm going to talk about one of the um, services that we have in Microsoft Cognitive Service um, for the text moderation or a content moderator. Uh, I'm going to talk about that, but before that, let's see that how actually we can use it. So, uh, you know that uh, you can uh, you get information from the chat room, discuss boards, uh, chat bots, e-commerce catalog, documents, and when, from different resources. And most of the time, you actually want to remove some unwanted words in that text. And they are actually something that you don't want to see there. So, for example, you may want to review them and or approve them so they are good or you want to block them or again you want to review and see that okay they need to be revised again so uh, these are the texts that actually sometimes they are against the uh, kind of the against the community that you have or they disclose some of the information like phone uh, or email uh, something like that or even you want to specify the location of the specific specific words. So uh, this uh, uh, kind of API or this service that we have uh, is able to actually uh, find the location of the text, uh, the uh, uh, words or terms that you want actually to disclose or you want to locate it in the text. So it's able to identify the location of that. And also in the second step is able to find the uh, kind of the uh, um, the text and specify the uh, some of the text that is not uh, you want to remove them or you want to actually uh, uh, kind of do something about that. Uh, so it's going to classify them into three categories. So the first category is actually uh, is about the category that's kind of we call it sexually explicit or adult in certain situation. So it's able to find these words is able to uh, find that actually we call it uh, sexually successive or matured in certain situation. And the last one is actually they are uh, about the text and uh, sentence and in general the language that uh, can be offensive in a specific situation. So is able going and categorize the uh, text that we have if they are, we, we call them not suitable. So is able to detect them. So uh, each category return a score between zero to one that indicate the predicted category for that text. So for example, how much is belong to category one? or how much this term belong to category two or category three. And um, uh, the kind of the last one that actually we call it personal, personally identifiable information. Uh, in most scenario, we want to not disclose information about the email, the name, address, or other things. So this service is able to kind of find uh, the detect the email address um, us mailing address not so i'm not sure about other region ip address us phone number uk phone number and so social security number and of course uh, it's going to be added some more things so in this uh, uh, video i'm going to show you that how we can create the actually these services so first of all you need to go to your Microsoft Azure. Uh, so go to the Microsoft Azure and uh, on the resource group, search for content moderator. So it's part of the cognitive services and uh, you can easily create that one. Um, just provide the region, the resource and the pricing tire and already create that so I'm going to just show to you so it's part of the cognitive services as you can see uh, uh, on the Azure it's the category of cognitive services so to uh, we are going is uh, actually to use it for a scenario um, here you see that we have the endpoint and is give us the location and the key same as the other 
services so what i'm going to do actually i'm going to the page um Actually, that's for a test. It's a test uh, page for the cognitive services. I will put it in the description of this video so you can access through that. So here, uh, first we need to make sure where we are uh, because I'm created the services in East US 2. So I choose that one. So I choose East US 2. And in the second step is actually uh, I need to provide some of the information over here. So I need to provide the key um, here. So in front of the OCP API subscription key, I'm going to provide my key here. So just copy from here and paste it over here. Definitely you can change uh, kind of some things us but this is you, you can do that here this example text so this is a so it's kind of the combination of the email phone number and uh, something else i'm not going to change it just put it this one and we are going to see that how it works so it's going to send it to the url and we wait so as you can see here in the response uh, the original text is has been uh, detected is going to remove some of the part like this is a uh, something like that and is uh, extract something so for the ppi uh, the personal information is able to detect the email of the people the uh, social security number the country code the address uh, the address is, is based in US, so that's why it's going through that. So uh, regarding the classifying that it has a uh, kind of the what sort of um, category and is the word is offensive or not, it could enable to find category two and three and is fine as category one and with a score of kind of very low. So it's low, so close to zero. But you can face that this is something happened and the location is number three so the index three then the original text is 10 so it's actually the start from 10 so you can kind of get it from here so uh, zero to one so that's the location the index and original index is there so it's kind of help you to uh, kind of help you to find out the uh, something that is disclosing email or some information plus that if in the text so this is can be used in a chatbot for example you have a chatbot and, and there are some mm, talk happen you can uh, embed this one with a chatbot it can be embedded with the other um, review and text or combination with the other cognitive services tools for example before uh, text analytics you can apply this one to find it and then send it to the text analytics uh, so they are you know, kind of it can be helpful if you want to moderate the content and be sure that it's not going to be disclose some information so we can uh, try something from ourselves so i said this is the email of layla i said layla at radaka.com so i'm just doing that and we wait so as you see it's uh, not able to find anything so it's kind of uh, not a bad things there and is able to detect the email over here and uh, so this is the one so you can you can just try it uh, with that link and check it how it works so same as the other api it gives you a url and the uh, key that you can actually use it thanks so much for watching this video